Hey guys, Matteo here. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to talk about ND filters and a little bit about diffusion filters as well. In particular, we're going to take a look at the Nisi True Color Variable 1 to 5 Stop filter. Now, as many of you know, I've been a Nisi user, a Nisi customer for many years. I have a vast variety of Nisi ND. And I've been loving these filters. Nizi is a really cool brand that does some great, great quality products. So when Nizi reached out to me for this partnership, of course, I was super excited. And I was even more excited when they asked me to shoot a piece for them, not just a typical review, but an actual video, an actual project uh, where I can showcase the capabilities of the variable ND. And also this made me rethink a little bit about variable ND. Because as already told on the channel, uh, I was not a really big fan of variable ND, mainly because of the color shift and the uh, X effect that it was doing and, and all this sort of stuff that variable are, are known for. So when they sent me this variable, you know, I was like, okay, let's give it a try because if it actually works and it doesn't have any color shift and it's a good filter, uh, it can be a very powerful tool. If you're running gun, one man band, this kind of stuff, a variable ND is a lifesaver. Now they also sent me the Black Mist, which is sort of Black Promise. And I have to say, I really like it. Uh, it's a little bit more punchy in terms of halation uh, compared to the Tiffin, uh, but I've been really loving it. And honestly, paired with the Variable ND and my other three stop easier IR ND, I think uh, I, I was able to create a, quite a unique look. So something worth mentioning guys is that Black Magic cameras, they don't have a proper IR filter inside the sensor. So, if you're gonna use this variable ND, which is not an IR filter, uh, you need to use a proper IR cut. Now, there is another problem when we talk about IR pollution is that ER pollution is much worse the higher you go with the neutral density filter, so with the ND intensity. So for example, at five stops, even if I had the three stops IR ND, it gets pretty messy. So I didn't have any problem using the 12K with this combination of filter, maybe because we never shot at noon. So my variable ND was always at two, three, max four stops. Now let's talk about this project that we have done, that we created together with Nizi and uh, this crazy uh, filter. So basically I just had this idea. I'm a, a big, big fan of Terrence Malick and I always wanted to shoot something a little bit abstract, a little bit of, you know, visually pleasant looking image, but with, you know, wide angle and flares. I mean, that is generally my style, but I also wanted to do something with a story. So in this case, I sit down and uh, because I'm, you know, I also have this crazy obsession about time and I think it, time is fascinating. What is time? We don't know. I mean, it's, it's a very absurd kind of concept when you think about it. So basically what I did for this project, I was uh, going through poem. They were talking about time and I found this poem from uh, um, Ella Wilcox, uh, Time and Love. And I really liked it and I think it was really, really a cool poem that I can turn into a voiceover. And we were able to capture some beautiful images, but um, let's just jump to the setup uh, that we use for these videos. So I decided to put a three stops IR and D as a first filter in front of my lens. And I did this, of course, because of the IR pollution problem, but also a lot of time I cannot shoot at F2 on the Ursa Mini Pro 12K. Why? Simply because internal ND are only six stops. And uh, in a bright day, especially here in Lisbon on the beach or whatever, six stops is not that much. If you want to create a dreamy look or you want to keep your lens wide open, and keep in mind, guys, you don't just shoot wide open because you want to blur the background. For example, with my Leica, I want to shoot wide open because at F2, they're very soft and they create this dreamy kind of look. I was already starting with the base of three stops, which is pretty good. And then of course I put a one to five stop variable ND and I can go from basically four stops total to eight stops total. And it was extremely helpful. And it was a setup that I really, really enjoyed work with because it gave me the freedom to just open up an F2 and create a dreamy look and blur the background. And, uh, you know, you, you see the images, uh, it's pretty cool. And of course, the other thing that this ND help us achieving is that bokeh, that nice blur background that everybody love. And uh, of course, as I mentioned before, uh, most of the camera perform much better during the day at high ISO. 
And if you want to shoot at IISO, of course, you're going to have a lot of light coming in. And now you stop the light with ND filters. At the end of the day, guys, uh, an ND filter is one of the most important tools that we have to control our exposure and the light that comes through our sensor, our lens. And uh, all I can say about this variable ND is that it doesn't have any color shift. It doesn't have any weird X happening in the sky or any vignetting. It's overall very clean and the footage looks beautiful. So I'm I'm pretty impressed. I have to admit it. I wasn't again really trusting variable ND anymore, but I think uh, Nizi with their technology, they they pull out something pretty crazy here. Again, guys, do not go cheap with ND because once you have your beautiful Pocket 6K, you have your beautiful vintage lens, and then you put a crappy ND in front of it, it's gonna ruin your image completely. And as I mentioned before, also for the shoot, we use the Black Mist, the quarter that uh, Nizi sent me, and I was pretty impressed. I think the combination of that three stops ND plus the variable, plus the Black Mist, it created that dreamy look that I was really looking for. And uh, they worked out pretty well. I'm, I'm really impressed when I see that 12K footage on my new Apple Studio Display 5K. It's just stunning. With the Nizi, you can clearly tell there's a there's a diffusion filter in front of your lens and it does create a dreamy look, especially on the skin tones. I like what it does on the skin tones, it's crazy. Smooth out a little bit the highlights as well, but it also lifts the shadows quite a bit. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm super happy with how it turned out. It is a visual poem. There's nothing more than a visual poem about time. So, and I just try to tell the story as best as I could and try to get you know, emotion into people's mind. So I hope you guys are gonna like it and uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much, Nizi, for sending out these filters. Now they're gonna be part of my, of my kit, my everyday kit. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.